1966, Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys committed himself to creating the greatest rock album ever made. Songs like Wouldn't It Be Nice, Sloop John B, and God Only Knows were just some of the biggest hits on the album titled Pet Sounds. Do you remember when the Beach Boys were here? Yes, I do remember. That was a very special day. In order to shoot the cover for Pet Sounds, the Beach Boys visited the San Diego Zoo, where Ron Garrison was a photographer for 38 years. Would you like to see a picture that I have that was actually used on the album cover? Yes. OK, so here was the album cover, and this is what their photographer was setting up, and then I could do my picture. Wow. So that was the picture that I took. Are you proud of that? Yes. News 8 was also at the zoo that day and shot this lost footage recently discovered in our film archives, which we showed to Mike Love from the Beach Boys. How much do you love San Diego? So much. We found some footage that has not been seen for more than 50 years at the San Diego Zoo when the Beach Boys were shooting the Pet Sounds album cover. I remember it well. We went to the petting zoo. Tell me about what you remember from that day. Just it was really strange because the, the animals, uh, we were feeding them and it was just bizarre. It was a bizarre situation. In the paper archives, it states that the Beach Boys would never be welcome back at the zoo again. Do you remember any sort of mayhem? Hey, now, wait a minute. Let's, let's both be bygones be bygones. I have no idea why they said that. Maybe some, something rude was said or done, but I, I don't remember anything. I, I comported myself as a perfect gentleman. <laughs> Newspaper reports alleged band members got rowdy and were banned for life. It said somebody from the band bounced a carrot off of a tiger's nose. Now that I don't know because they were in the children's zoo and there's no tigers. Ron doesn't remember any mischief. You gotta remember, they were kids. Right? They were in their early 20s. And about to make rock history, according to Dan Del Fiorentino, a music historian with NAM. What is it about Pet Sounds that changed music? Well, that's a great question. Pet Sounds, what an amazing album. It came out at the right time for the Beach Boys in their career, but also for Americans. You know, it took them nine months to record that album in 27 different sessions and in four different studios. God only knows what I'd be without you. Paul McCartney once said that God Only Knows was one of his favorite songs. Yeah, the influence of this album is really extraordinary. What's really cool is one of the guys I interviewed was one of the Beach Boys, Bruce Johnson, who was the guy who actually took two copies and played them for Paul and John. And so they were extremely influenced by that album. And of course, their Sgt. Pepper's album came out about a year later. I remember maybe 10 years ago, Rolling Stone magazine did the 500 top albums and they had Sgt. Pepper at number one and Pet Sounds at number two. So that's pretty good company. Of course, I demanded a recount, never mind. <laughs> As for just how wild the Beach Boys got at the zoo? Yeah, I think there were some people that thought that they might have been a little bit rude. I just, you know, like I said, they were they were kids. We interviewed Mike Love from the Beach Boys, okay. and he said that they were perfect gentlemen. You know, I mean, I would say they didn't do anything obnoxious. Good. They may have been showing off. Would you invite him back? Sure. I would agree that bygones should be bygones, you know, for whatever they may have been doing at that point in their life. In the Zevely zone, I see Mike Love. Okay. And he's not causing any trouble. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Zevely, News 8. That is amazing footage. And for the record, I want to set it straight, the San Diego Zoo tells us the Beach Boys are welcome to visit the zoo anytime.